Today, we're going to teach you how to make dashi. So dashi is important in Japanese cooking because it's basically in every single thing. I don't have fresh bonito flakes right now, but I have these, which actually work the same. So these are bonito packets that you can buy from the Japanese grocery store. Because I'm using a small pot, one will be enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in water, however much you need for a small packet. If you have more water, just put a second packet. Everything is up to you. We're good. So now that we have the dashi packet in, we're going to turn on the fire. We're going to let it come to a uh, simmer. And then I'll show you the next steps. What do we do with dashi? We make everything with dashi. You can use it as a soup base for shabu shabu. You can use it as a soup base for sukiyaki. You can use it to cook your rice. You can use it for sauces. Um, we're going to make a braise with it as well. We're going to use this for our shabu course. Um, what's important uh, in dashi is firstly, of course, the bonito flakes. And then we need the cooking sake. We need mirin and soy sauce. These are the four ingredients you need and water, of course. And I'll teach you how to flavor it in a bit. I forgot to mention earlier that dashi also requires kelp. But in my little packet, it's already kelp added into it. So if you're using fresh bonito flakes, you should add some kelp in as well after it has been boiled. After the bonito has been boiled, you turn off the fire and you put your kelp in and let it just sit there. And now, look at our dashi stock. So this is the base. This is the bonito and kelp. And this is the colour that it comes out to. So right now, we're going to take this packet out. You can see that nice golden colour. So right now we're going to flavour this dashi and it's very simple. So the three other ingredients, mirin, cooking sake and soy sauce, you just put a ratio of one, one and one for each and then you taste it. Mm. And it's slightly more salty, a little bit more soy. And there you have it, perfect base for everything you need.